What's up guys, Marcus here, and today we're gonna be doing more of the same. <laughs> I started my last couple of videos saying I was gonna be doing something a little bit different, but today is just more of the same. If you guys remember, I made a video about Better Call Saul, which was basically me talking about a scene and the build up to that scene, and how perfect it was, and using that as evidence as to why the show is a masterpiece. This is gonna be basically the same, but kind of the opposite. I'm gonna be talking about just one part of Rise of Skywalker that was fucking awful to prove my point. So yeah, let's get started. We all know that Star Wars Episode 9 was a cinematic disaster on almost every level. It's created a huge divide in the world about which film is worse, The Rise of Skywalker or The Last Jedi. However, today I'm here to talk about my favorite part of that film, and it's only my favorite because it's so stupid that even when watching the film in the theaters I couldn't stop laughing at it. Now, there is a lot of stupidity in this movie, from Kylo fixing his helmet by melding the broken parts together, parts that were left in the floor of an elevator that was inside the ship that was destroyed in The Last Jedi, making the only plausible explanation that Kylo destroyed his helmet, walked out of the elevator, then came back in and got the smashed parts to the villains... <laughs> to the villains... <laughs> to the villains... To the villains literally not knowing which way is up. <laughs> Don't fucking know which face. <laughs> ah, that's literally something that happened in the fucking movie. Nav can't tell which way's up out there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, <there>. Sorry. <clears throat> okay, but my favorite part is the one just before Ray accidentally kills Chewie. Even though he turns out to be fine later. Finn, Poe, Ray, Chewie, BB-8, and C-3PO had got an Ochi's dagger. Which is another stupid thing, but I won't talk about it today. And they were going to Ochi's ship to leave the planet to translate the dagger and find out where the Wayfinder was. But for some reason, Rey walks away from the ship, and Finn and Poe don't stop her, even though they are on a tight schedule because they know Palpatine will begin his attack in a few hours and they have to leave, and they have everything they need to find him. So that's just retarded, but it gets worse. So, now that everyone except Rey is in the ship, Finn tells Chewie to go tell Rey they've gotta go. This was like a minute after Rey left, so why would they let her leave? She's just delaying them for no reason whatsoever. Even though Kylo is good to the planet, she doesn't have to see him. It's retarded for her to do so, but let's continue. So, Chewie, the guy who had the dagger they needed, walks out of the ship and doesn't give the dagger to anyone, and the Knights of Ren see him. The next time you see Chewie, he's being captured by the Knights of Ren, and he's being put into a transport ship, which is also fucking retarded because there's no way Chewie would be able to be captured at that moment, but conveniently he was the person who had the dagger. Then, Rey standing in the middle of the desert, with her fucking mouth open of course, because Daisy really can't act. Then we see Kylo's ship in the distance, it's coming towards Rey. Poe asks Finn where the hell Chewie is and Finn sees Kylo's ship and walks out of Ochi's ship, after exclaiming it's Kylo in the ship. What the fuck? He just walked out, but there's no reason for him to do that. Anyway, as soon as he walks out of the ship, he sees Chewie has been captured and is being put into a transport ship, with another one right beside it. Which I already said it's retarded because there's no way she would be able to be captured without anyone noticing. We hear no blaster shots, we don't hear Chewie screaming, and the distance between Rey and the ship was too small for the Knights of Ren to capture Chewie without anyone seeing that. So, now the First Order has captured Chewie because Rey didn't want to go with the rest of the team right away for apparently no reason. But don't worry, it gets worse. Now we have that famous scene from the trailers, where Kylo is running towards her with his ship, and Rey is running away. Let's talk about these few seconds here. Firstly, Rey turning her lightsaber on before she starts running is retarded. It would only make her running unsafe. She could have turned it on when she was jumping to hit Kylo's ship. Secondly, Kylo going towards Rey makes zero sense. He wants Rey alive to turn her to the dark side. But if he hits her, she won't be alive for much longer, will she? But if he does want to kill her, he'd use the blasters in the ship instead of ramming into her. So since the beginning of this scene, nothing has made sense. But don't worry, it gets worse. After running away, Rey slashes Kylo's ship with her lightsaber while doing a fucking backflip. Then this happens. <laughs> Kylo not only hits the fucking ground more than once very hard with his ship, he spins very fucking fast, making the G-Force 100% kill him. Not only that, but he also fucking explodes. Loads. So of course Kylo is dead and his ship is destroyed. So Finn calls Rey and points to the ship where Chewie supposedly is, as it's taken off. So fucking Mare Sue stops the ship midair with the force. Then Kylo fucking walks away from his ship without a scratch. How the fuck would people care about what's happening on screen and everything is this retarded? <sighs> Whatever. 
If Palpatine survived the Return of the Jedi explosions, Kylo can survive this one. Who even cares anymore? Star Wars is so fucking broken, it's embarrassing. It's fucking humiliating when the prequels are better than the new Star Wars movies. So Kylo and Rey battle for control of the ship with their force powers, but Rey summons lightning accidentally, killing everyone on the ship and presumably Chewie as well. But later we find out he's fine. Everyone has already said how stupid her summoning lightning is, so let's just talk about the reason we're here. That scene was complete and utter garbage, but there's something that happens later in this film that makes this scene even worse. As everyone saw, Kylo's ship was destroyed, it fucking exploded. However, Kylo survived the explosion. But what if I were to tell you that Kylo wasn't the only thing that survived the explosion? There's a moment in this film where Kylo arrives at a Star Destroyer with his ship, but of course the canon explanation would be that he had another ship of the exact same model. Okay, so let's go further into the movie. So. When Rey and Kylo fight on the wreckage of the Death Star, Rey steals Kylo's ship and goes to the place where Luke was in The Last Jedi. So she burns the ship down and talks to Luke. When Luke convinces her to go to Exegol, she needs to find a way to get there. Well, she opens a compartment and the Wayfinder is there. So not only did the Wayfinder survive getting burned down, we know this is the same ship Kylo was in before when it was destroyed because the Wayfinder was in it. Either that or Kylo had another ship just like the one he tried to run into Rey with that he used when it exploded and the Wayfinder survived the explosion of Kylo's ship just like Kylo, which is retarded because we saw Kylo destroy a Wayfinder with his hands easily. So there's no way this makes sense. Either way, him bringing the Wayfinder to the place where he'd meet Rey is retarded because he went there to destroy her Wayfinder so they could join forces. The fact that Rey can fly Kylo's ship normally is retarded since there would obviously be something that would prevent Rey from flying a ship from the First Order, like a cold or whatever. Rey burning down Kylo's ship is retarded because now she had the Wayfinder she could go to Exegol and confront Palpatine. The Wayfinder surviving the ship burning down was retarded because it was fucking inside the ship and it's so fucking fragile that Kylo destroyed one of the Wayfinders with his hand. And finally, Kylo's ship surviving is retarded because we saw it explode. So not only did Kylo have plot armor in this film to a hilariously high extent, so did his ship, and so did the Wayfinder in his ship. Honestly, it's baffling to me how fucking stupid this film is. Every scene has some level of stupidity in it. So yeah, I guess this is it. I wanted to make a video on the rise of Skywalker, because every time I think about it, I just laugh at how bad it is. So I wanted to share the thing that makes me laugh the most, Kylo's ship surviving its destruction. I mean, that's not the thing that makes me laugh the most, but it's a close second. The most hilarious thing is that, in the supposed last film of the saga, the one where the enemy is made out to be the most formidable and competent one, the climax of the saga and the success of our heroes hinge on the fact that the people flying the enemy ships don't know which way is up. <laughs> Nav can't tell which way is up out. <laughs> they don't know which way is up. <laughs> yeah, I love this film. Never change, JJ.